Hey everyone, what I'd like to do for you all today is an unboxing of the Sony HDR AZ-1 VR. This is the smallest action camera available from Sony at the moment and it comes with a live view remote kit that allows you to see what you're recording. So, let's see what's in the box. So here we have the Sony HDR AZ-1 VR. Sony is marketing this as the Action Cam Mini because it's the smallest camera they have in their action camera range. Now if you look around at the, the side of the box, you can see that the box is opened already. And the reason for this is, I purchased the camera on Saturday night from the Sony store in Bogota. And after paying for it, the salesman walked along and he, he cut the box open and he switched everything on and showed me how it all worked. So when I got home, I just started charging it up and then started using it the next day. But I put everything back in the box to show you all today what's inside there. So consider this a fake unboxing. Now, at the top, we have the camera itself and the underwater casing. Now, these are screwed in into this case, you can see here. Now, at the bottom, these are screwed in. All you need is a little coin to, op to loosen the screws. Once you get to a certain point, you should be able to do it with your fingers. There we go. And that's the camera. It's very small. You can see I can fit it in my hand here, like this. And the other day I was recording, just holding it in my hand when I was walking. Now, this is the underwater casing. This goes to 5 metres or 16 feet. I've not had a chance to use this yet, but... I may try it out in a few weeks if I get away for a weekend, but primarily I'll be using the camera on its own like that, just putting it in my pocket and pulling it out whenever I need to record something. Now you can see here the it's got the tripod mount screwed into the bottom, but if you were using this camera with that with the underwater casing, you would take this off. You would take the tripod mount off and put it in. But what I was doing is I was keeping it screwed in at all times so that I can screw in a little tripod mount whenever I need to. And next up we have the Live View Remote Kit. This um, is necessary to use with this camera to change settings. The other option you have if you don't want to use this is you can modify settings using an application on your smartphone. you have it. If any of you have ran before, you may you may kind of be familiar with this kind of design. This looks very similar to the um, I'll switch it on now. This looks very similar to the Garmin 305 and Garmin 310 running GPS watches. It works in the same way. You, you put it on you strap it on like that. It's quite bulky but It's, it does work well, and the GPS is actually built into this device here, rather than the camera. This was a sacrifice they had to make to make this smaller. So, get the watch. Now, at the very bottom of the box, what you have is the charging cable. This is required to charge the camera and the remote viewing kit. But this is a standard Android charging cable. So if you've got a, an Android smartphone or an Android tablet, you can use the same cable to charge either of these devices. And you have three different kind of mounting kits. One is a little bit curved for a helmet. One is flat. And I wasn't sure what the other one was, so I opened that up. And I thought I would be able to understand what it was, but I've still got no idea what this one is. But you get three of those anyway. And at the end, you've got all your documents. It's just advertisements for accessories. And let's get them all out here. There's um, two or three stickers. And here as well, Sony Action Cam stickers if you want to put that anywhere. It's a guarantee and there's about two or three manuals. One for the waterproof casing, one for the Live View 
remote kit and one for the camera. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this kind of design of manuals. With there's about I don't know, there's about a dozen or so languages inside the manual, and in order to read it, you really need to kind of put it down on the floor and open it all up like a big newspaper. But thankfully, that you can get download these online and then view them on your tablet or your phone. What I've did, I've stored them in Dropbox, so I can always refer to them. So there you have it. That's the Sony HDR AZ1 VR, otherwise known as the Sony Action Cam Mini. I'm very pleased with it so far, and as you can see, it's very small. Fits in the hand. And it's quite durable as well, although I'm obviously not trying to drop it. Now, in my next video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can use this camera with the Live View Remote Kit. And I will also show you how you can modify settings and view clips and photographs by using an application on your smartphone. So please be sure to check that out. I'll place a link to the, the video in the description area. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have a question, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.